In this video, we're going to look at how a set of MIPS instructions interacts with a system's memory. So at the top, we have four MIPS instructions that we're going to execute in sequence. And in the bottom, we have a figure that shows a subregion of the system's overall memory. So to start off with, we're going to look at the first instruction. This first instruction, LH, means it's a load half word instruction, meaning that it's going to load two bytes or 16 bits from memory. And so the first thing we want to figure out is what address it's going to load from. And so we can see the address is going to be a combination of 0 plus the immediate value of 4022, meaning that the address it's going to load from is 4022. And so looking at our figure, we can see that the lowest address that's shown is hex 4020. And with the least significant byte on the right, that would mean that this far right entry is 4020, and then we work up 4021, 4022, 4023, etc. And so in this case, we're interested in 4022, which corresponds to the two bytes on the bottom left. So it corresponds to these two bytes here. And so when we load that, into the register, we're going to get that the register value for T1 is going to be assigned a sign extended version of those. And so we'll get the 4028. And then since the most significant bit is a zero, we will get four zeros in front of that. And so after that first instruction, T1 will have the value shown. And so the next instruction is a load byte, meaning that it's going to load a single byte from memory. And so its address is a combination of what's in T1 minus the value 3. And so the address that we're going to load is going to be 4028 minus 3 is going to mean that we're going to load the address 4025. And so we already got the value 4028 specified here. And so that would mean that this is the value 4028. And so we could work backwards saying that this is going to be 4027, 4026, and then finally hex 4025. So this cell here is the one that we're going to be loading from. And we're going to be loading this single byte of hex 87, and a load byte will sign extend whatever value it loads. So it's going to put T2, the least significant byte, is going to be 87, and then it's going to look at the most significant bit of this byte, which is a 1 in the case of hex 8, and it's going to use that to sign extend it. So we're going to have 1s everywhere else, meaning that the overall value is going to be this one shown here. And then working from there, we can move on to the next instruction, which is going to store the value in T2, which we just prepared, into the address, which is a combination of T1, which is still hex 4028, plus the immediate value 4, meaning that we're going to store an entire word into the address 402C in hex. And so that means we're going to take the value in T2 and put it into that address. And so that means what is currently in 402C is going to be replaced by the value in T2, meaning that we're now going to have six Fs, and then the least significant byte is going to be the 87. And so that takes care of the third instruction. And finally, in the last instruction, we're going to load a half word. So again, two bytes. And we're going to load it from the address, which is what was in T1, which is 4028, plus the immediate value 6, meaning we're going to load from the address 402E. And so if we were to look at, we had 402C here. The next would be 402D. 402E. So we're going to be loading from that block of memory there. And we have two bytes highlighted since we're doing a load half word. And so and the final result of this into S1, we're going to store the value of 
f f f f for the least significant two bytes and we're going to sign extend this like we sign extended the load byte and since the most significant bit of this is a one we're going to end up with all f's in our register s1